it's Mastodon here, doing a commentary video for an online multiplayer battle for Shogun 2 Total War. This is the Slumber Rain Settlement, and my opponent is Liebman Volta. And we will see the kind of armies that we're using. Both are extremely different. And the armies are much bigger now, because I have reached uh, rank 3, or 4, or 3, or something, I don't know. But we will see it once this um, thing stops loading. Alright, so here's my army. I've got three or four units of Bow Cousins, these guys. Behind them, I have four units of the uh, Katana Samurai, these guys. Very awesome looking. I've got my Avatar's bodyguard. This is uh, Sam the Man. I think he's this guy right here. Him. Or somebody. Um, three units of Light Cav. These guys. Then I've got some more units of the Yari Cav. These guys. Let's go look at the army used by my opponent, Liebman Volta. He's got three units of Katana Cav. I haven't seen these yet, I don't think. He's got his, uh, his Avatar's bodyguard unit. It, the name of this guy is Lowood. It's this guy. Look at that outfit. Then he has a unit of Yari peasants. And the rest of his army are skirmishers. He has one, two, three, four, six units of matchlock peasants. These guys, they're basically dudes with guns. Then he has four units of bow of archer peasants. So he basically has ten units of skirmish units. And I've got my four archers to combat his archer and, and what do you call it, matchlock and the menace. So, how am I going to combat this? Well, the best way to combat this is not straight from the front. These guys are extremely deadly. Oh, he also has a unit of rocket troops here. These guys, fire rockets. So he, he actually has 11 units of skirmish type units. But anyways, to combat that, I cannot strike it from the front. I'm going to strike it from all sides. So, I'm bringing my cap on this wing and on the other wing here. I gotta divide his army so I can divide his, um... Divide and complicate his fire system. These are my, my light cap right here. And I believe they're hidden now. As they're in the forest. Well, once they're stationary, they'll be hidden. And as for the rest, I've got my... My bow peasants out here. And I will trade fire with his um, matchlock peasants as soon as I can. But the first thing is first, I got to um, divide my army so I can strike him from multiple angles. And in response, my opponent's going to peel off some matchlock peasants. And he's also going to bring some cav to this left side. He brought his bodyguard unit over here and a, and a unit of uh, katana cav. Now they're hidden. But that's how he's going to uh, deal with my strike from all sides. He's going to field a, a defensive formation here, all around, all around fire. So here are the uh, the infamous matchlock peasants. All right. By the way, uh, Takei Shingen, my my favorite commander from this time period, um, he did recognize the threat of of the matchlock firearms, but. The uh, first ones to actually implement them, like a whole bunch of them, was Oda. Oda Nobunaga. So, and that revolutionized uh, warfare. Alright, so this is what his new uh, formation looks like. He's got some matchlock peasants up here, and he's backing them up with fire rockets. And he's got more matchlock peasants on this side, backed up by Katana Cav. Then he's got his bodyguard unit back here. Alright, so he's launching his fire rockets at me now. Right at my dudes. Doesn't feel good, to be honest. I'm going to march up. At the same time, I'm going to move all my Cav down both wings here. And my opponent's going to strike at my, my light Cav. 
He has his bodyguard unit and a unit of contending cav. I don't think I can fight them, so I'm going to run away. I'm gonna use my speed. And from the other wing, I'm gonna move my troops down the side too. And I'm also moving up my my peasant archers. These guys are wavering right now because they've been taking shots from his uh, fire rockets. But uh, yeah, stay the course. See how I I outmaneuvered his um his bodyguard unit and his katana cav. Well, I'm gonna keep moving this way. And these guys will be firing very soon. But yeah, I'm gonna charge into his katana cav. Let's do a cinematic view. That's his arc cav going at it. And I need to be quick because uh, my light cav isn't gonna last you long without the support of my Yari cav. And actually, uh, my uh, Yari cav's taking some shots from his uh, match lock. I'm gonna charge into them. Let's, let's, let's get a cinematic view of this. Look at that mayhem, guys. Let's shrink this. No, well, that's not expanded. Let's shrink it. Ah, oh, screw it. So here's the situation. And on this side, I'm exchanging fire here with his mash locks. Actually, I believe my my peasants are outranging his mash locks. See this? Yeah, I think my yeah my guys are actually outranging his dudes. But here's the decisive part of the battle. I carry the red banner, he carries the black ones. Fighting his cab is a real pain. Because he's got his matchlock peasants firing at me from the back. These guys. So now I'm gonna bring up my general. Here he comes. And I'm gonna charge in my Katanic Samurai. So it's a very complicated uh, symphony of, of uh, tactical movement. But yeah, I'm, my general's taking heavy shots from these matchlock peasants. But I had no choice, I gotta I got save my cav. So I risked losing my general in order to save my cav. I'm gonna charge right into the backs of these uh, matchlock peasants. And that's gonna at least um, stop them from firing at my my cav. And at the same time, here comes my katana cav, or my katana samurai. See this? My guys are wavering, but you gotta, you gotta keep going, guys. You gotta keep going. And once you commit to the attack, you gotta keep going. Our men are running from the battlefield. Save for this play. Yeah. So, I don't want to keep fighting these. Um, what are these? I think they're Katana Cav. I think, or it might be his general actually. But I'm gonna run away. It's actually his his bodyguard unit. I, I didn't know how souped up they were, so I'm just gonna run away from them. And I'm gonna charge into the backs of these uh, matchlock peasants here, and these um, bow peasants as well. And I got my swordsmen going at it with these guys. So look at this sweet action here. I'm killing the, his infantry. And um, at the same time, I'm going after his um, matchlock peasants. These are my katana samurai. I'm just trying to sh I'm trying to hack them down before they can fire. Look at that sweet action, guys. Those are his fire rockets getting hacked down by my samurai. Let's go watch this part of the battlefield. There's a lot more action happening here. Let's look on this side, right here. Look at that. Those guys are bow peasants. They're getting slashed by my Our katana samurai. Man, his guys are breaking, actually. I lost my general at some point, I think. Actually, my general might still be alive. No, I think he's dead. Or he's injured, I mean, sorry. This is my Katana Samurai chasing down these matchlock peasants, but since they're, they're going this way, I've got my... I peeled off my, my bow peasants to pursue them. And I'm, that's going to free up my Katana Samurai to turn back and charge this way. Yeah. Look at these guys running. Those are his, uh, his spearmen, and they break, and I win the battle. Good game to my opponent. Um, that was a weird army he brought. All Basically all skirmishers. Um, 
But uh, good game to him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And it was a, it was a bigger battle because um, I guess I, as I progress in ranks, the armies get bigger. Um, I will show you the battle results now.